So the light middleweight final, the World Cup then, the Canadian hero, the blonde Sean O'Sullivan, who's only 19, against Armando Martinez, the Cuban, only 20, and the reigning Olympic champion. Seven Cubans, five Americans entered in the World Cup, but no Britons, and judging by the standard of the Cuban champions, maybe that's just as well. O'Sullivan comes from Toronto, really a big name in Canada, and they're wondering what would have happened had the Canadians entered the Olympics in Moscow, where, of course, the Cubans really were superb. Martinez was only 18 when he came home with that gold medal. A tremendous feat, that. And a tough opening round. And remember the bruises, the earlier competition that these fellas have had to go through, eliminating Bulgarians, Venezuelans, Koreans. And what a start this is. Well, they said that O'Sullivan was the gutsiest fighter in Canada, and they weren't kidding. Short punches of the Cuban, just watch the way he rips those to the body there. Very effective indeed. Very well taught the Cuban amateur team. his punches the Olympic champion leads with the right hand there and still gets away with it and Solomon's not too big on defense he's going to get a standing count and rightly so well that's a shot for the local hero standing eight count so back into action then and a good start by the Olympic champion and again second respite he doesn't agree with that O'Sullivan neither does the crowd but they're not taking the punches, it's all very well then booing there, but this boy Martinez, he hurts. And O'Sullivan survived this first round. Well, he could have fooled me there, hitting with the inside of the glove, but they were good enough to stop this fellow in his tracks and he's really as game as they come, O'Sullivan. Oh, a cut over the left eye there. I'm surprised he didn't take O'Sullivan to the corner, at least for the doctor to have a look at that. It looks bad enough, but he's saved with the bell then at the end of the first round. Well, I'm surprised they're not working quicker on that eye. They've only got a final 60 seconds. You get a replay there of Martinez just missing with that right hand lead, which is unorthodox, but he's always ready to bring in a counter blow. There they watch those hooks to the body, really professionally delivered, aren't they? But all the time, O'Sullivan nagging away, clubbing around the head. A really professional exchange, that. And that's the one that really gets O'Sullivan in trouble. So round two, Sean O'Sullivan, a couple of compulsory standing counts in the opening round. And the Cuban Martinez then must have won that by, what, 2017, 2018 at the maximum. hitting with the inside of the glove, Martinez. It takes a bit of believing, but I suppose he must have done that. Why these gloves have the white tips on, it's supposed to help the judges to know when they hit correctly with the knuckle part of the glove. Well, there was enough action in that opening round to last a long time, but they're back in at the second, and certainly O'Sullivan has marvellous powers of recovery. 
Well, he won't get a better fight between teenagers than this one now. Although Martinez, in fact, has just got out of the teenage limit by a few months. What a battle in the second round. And the crowd really behind O'Sullivan, as you would expect, because he's as game as they come. Reminds me of a young Jerry Quarry. Canadian professional in the making, surely this one, or will he hang around hopefully for the Olympic Games in Los Angeles? And O'Sullivan, really O'Sullivan tried to dishearten the Cuban, but the left hook in Cuban there so poked with that punch. But in danger at times of punching himself out because he's really been drawn into a fight. What a pattern! with O'Sullivan, really took the stick in the opening round and in the second, fighting his heart out and having really quite a bit of success. And again, warning inside of the guard. Now that's going against the champion. Silver medalist in the last World Cup, Martinez. And this is the ring where they fought the 76 Olympics in Montreal at the Morris Richard Arena. Coming up to the end of the second. And really, Sean O'Sullivan getting more than his medals back in a fantastic light middleweight final. looking just a little bit distressed there and certainly surprised and in replay and that flash in the second where they really didn't stop punching just look at this toe to toe punch for punch and O'Sullivan trying to get inside the long arms of the Cuban and again now the right hand a bit wild by Martinez and O'Sullivan managing to get his punches just that much shorter to make them count It looks as though he's had some professional coaching. So it's the third and, of course, final round of the World Cup in Montreal. One of the greatest amateur battles I've ever seen. They can't really call this too much science. But for sheer guts, ability, these boys have kept going the whole time and O'Sullivan really battling back after a disastrous start. <laughs> Martinez perhaps realising he lost a medal or two in that second round and Sean O'Sullivan from Toronto just will not be denied. I can imagine some of the professional promoters around the world must be green with envy watching these boys doing it for a few cups and saucers, as it were. Well, who says the amateurs are hit-and-run merchants? They're in terrific shape, having fought all week to get to this final, they're feeling a few bruises with battle, and they still have not stopped. My heart goes out to both of them. And in particular, O'Sullivan, because he had every reason to even quit at the end of that first round, and that was the last thing in his mind.
a public warning for hitting with the inside of the glove and I think he's understandably a bit disgusted by that I think O'Sullivan is saying well it's just as well he didn't hit me with a knuckle part because he hurts it's true that some of them do look as though they're landing with the tip of the glove those punches but I think the referee has been a little bit pernickety with that it's too great a battle to spoil with stoppages and public warnings Koskin of Russia on the way. But what would have happened had the Canadians entered and fighters like O'Sullivan had have been in Moscow? Well, they've just now thrown a few upsets on the way, as indeed O'Sullivan is doing in this last round. What a tremendous battle this is, and now the champion gets a standing count. Well, that is a surprise. O'Sullivan has not only come back, but he's dished out enough punishment to level things up and probably now put him ahead in the last seconds of the final round and the bell comes to the rescue, a playful punch at the bell and O'Sullivan senses that he's won it and the crowd know he has. Well, in fact, it was a 5-0 unanimous verdict for the young Canadian. What a remarkable comeback after those two standing counts in the first round and what a hot prospect he is.